people that you've probably never seen before. Wow, that is crazy. Look at how alive everything looks. Wow. I'm really impressed. Wow. Hey dreamers and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Dream. In this one, we are going to play Sword of Arcana or Arcana, the final demo by Leo Project on Twitter, a really amazing French creator who frequently puts out updates about his project on Twitter, which always looks incredible. But now we actually have something playable in Dreams and it looks absolutely fantastic. So let's check it out together here. Um, the menu already, or in general, the style really reminds me to Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy 15, which I really like. So yeah, let's jump in and see what we can do here. All right, seems like we're getting jumped straight into the game with a first fight. Cool character design as well. In a battle, you have special attacks called arts at your disposal. Each art needs to be charged with SP by attacking with square. A charged art can be used to immediately by pressing triangle or save for later. Okay. We have a dodge roll and our first enemy. And it seems like we have a party of three people that seem to be having all different kind of abilities. And down below it seems like we have our arts. Four special attacks that we need to charge in first. And just how, how, how it mostly is with kind of JRPG games. Um, it takes quite a bit to even take down the first enemy here. Which is just level 3. But I guess we are also still level 1 or something. Okay, I think we can now try out our arts. Let's try fire. Uh, when you use arts, the Synergy Gulch fills up. Synergy allows you to perform even more actions like character switching or unique abilities. Okay, so we can actually switch to our other party members. And we can switch on the D-pads. And they have their own arts and special abilities, so let's try that out as well. First, let's try the Dolphin Slash. Ooh, really cool effects here. What about the Blade Rush? <laughs> And double edge. Wow, that looks really cool. Really nice effect. Let's switch to the other characters. Here we see we seem to have more of a tank kind of character. Let's try Smackdown. Yeah, he uses his big shield. And here, here we have a female kind of character. Oh, okay. So it seems like a mage, maybe in a more modern kind of style. And she can also heal our party, but we don't have enough points right now, it seems like. Okay, we almost got down the first enemy here. Yeah, we did it. Okay, and now we are in the open world. Yeah, this game is actually an open world JRPG inspired game, it seems like. And open worlds are quite rare to find in dreams, obviously, because you need to have a lot of knowledge about firm optimization, but look at this. This looks really cool. Looks actually fantastic. Really nice use of background elements and color here. But yeah, let's look around and see what we can find. We can see that there's actually enemies on the overworld that we can probably get into a battle with. And here we have something to collect. Alimia Mushroom. Our current ob objective is to explore Alimia. And we also have a menu really cool with the characters in here. <laughs> Lior, that's actually the name of the creator as well. Okay. Let's fight against some of these bees. 
I would assume they probably all have quite different attacks and stuff. We can also actually block. Let's try that out. Oh, that was, wasn't very successful, I guess. Let's let it attack. Okay, cool. We also have items here, but I don't think we have some yet. And we can use the classic potion. Let's try our dolphin slash. Boom! And we also defeated the bee. Now let's keep exploring this world. We have a bridge here over a beautiful kind of river where waterfalls coming down. This looks really beautiful, especially when we look at the distance and those floating rocks and mountains covered in grass. And here, here we can see that it's really beautifully made with the grasslands. They put some flowers and other plants in here. And really quite a bit of landscape to explore here as well. I saw in the logs that they actually plan to add chests and all of that stuff as well to expand on the city, which I'm really curious to see because it probably means that we can actually explore it. We can actually also run and it seems like we are going to into the city now called Leon. Let's see what awaits us there. I think this is a really beautiful showcase of of what you can do with dreams as well with its very own unique style that you've probably never seen before wow that is crazy look at that look at how alive everything looks wow i'm really impressed wow <laughs> The character's face. That's a really nice sculpting here. Love the character design in general. But look at that. That is amazing. Oh, there's even a shop. Ah, we can we can buy the potions here. That comes in handy. I'm buying a few potions. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow. That looks really incredible. I love that there's people all around here. It makes it look really alive. Oh, what is that? We can even enter some buildings. That's incredible. The reception. We can rent a room. <laughs> hmm, maybe not. Maybe that's a work in progress. Oh, or maybe it actually healed us because maybe it's like a Pokemon Center or something for us. Wow, look at all the details. Hey, and there actually is a chest, but it seems like we can't open it yet. But again, this is just the alpha demo. Um, the creators plan to update that frequently. Wow, that looks amazing. Ah, oh, okay. Seems like here's the end for now, and that's what they meant with expanding the city. Oh, another really cool thing is I just found this quest board where we can actually... Just like in Final Fantasy XV, accept some, like, uh, mob kill quests, I believe. Really cool. There's lots of stuff to try out in this game, I feel like, that I didn't even see, probably. But that just means even more room for you guys to try out as well. Also like the ground here, that there's leaves on the ground, the characters are actually walking around a little bit. It's a lovely atmosphere in general. I really love that. Wow. And we even have a time, as we see at the top left, we're like, probably still early in the morning here. Let's see, change time. Let's see if that actually works. Let's bring it onto the evening. And see if that changes something. 
Wow, it actually changes the, the time of day as well. That's incredible. Really amazing work. I want to see the nighttime now. Wow, it really changes as well and it turns the light on. So wow, that looks amazing. Even the stars, look at that. And it keeps going. It even has the day and night cycle. How cool is that? That looks incredible. I love the nighttime version and even how our sword and back glows. And yeah, this was a first look at the final demo of Sword of Arcana, a JRPG inspired open world game which looks absolutely incredible and it feels really cool um, playing as well. It's a lot of fun. And I'm just so impressed by this town here. I highly recommend it to play it out for yourself as well. I will leave the link in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like, some feedback and share it with others. So they can see what's possible with dreams as well. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.